This is the Dave Brubeck Blue Rondo a la Turk piano tutorial. My name is Paul Toby from jazzmental.com. And today we're tackling the most difficult section of Blue Rondo a la Turk, which is the part that uses force in the right hand. There's descending in the left hand. It's just this really complicated thing. And you got to hand it to Dave for writing such a complicated piece, but it's so cool when you end up getting it correctly. So let me start by playing it for you, the section that we're gonna work on, and then we'll go from there. Right, so coming out of that section where you had it starts here at the third bar of the sheet of music that you're looking at now. So essentially so in terms of fingering 2-1 in the right hand and then this is just 5 to 1 And then four one, four three two, and the left hand is basically three one three. And that's how to start that off. So I'm not going to do fingering for everything, but you have to kind of follow the fingers where they fall. And then as we move to the next section, the left hand starts to get a little more complicated. Five, two, five, one, five. Right. So those are all one, two, three, and then two, three, four. And then the right hand, these are all fourths. So essentially like this. And you have to really practice that because it lands on the third of those triplets. And then the next section is And I know it has the bass note in there, but it, that would basically be like this. But the bass note is covering that A, so I would suggest it's a lot easier to play just the note on top. I think it's interesting there that he doesn't use the force in the right hand, he uses thirds. Okay, let's play that whole section a little slowly so we can get that under our fingers.
And then this part is not the easiest thing to play. What I would suggest is you just play So just do each hand separately. And it actually hits the lowest note on the piano, which is the A. So. And the right hand starts with a G chord. And then it plays a different voicing of F. Hard to hit that C sharp at the top when you get to that chord at the top. And then this section is... It jumps into swing. We're not going to go there in this tutorial. What I would suggest for this section it's really hard to see the right hand and the left hand at the same time. You kind of need one eye to go one way and one eye to go the other way. So I think it's a little easier to see the right hand because the left hand is kind of used to playing octave. So pay attention to the right hand instead. And when you get to the end of the tune, you just end on that A minor chord. Okay, so again, I just think the interesting parts are when the left hand is descending like here. It may be wise to practice that section quite a bit. Because as you look at it, it looks fairly simple on the paper, but feeling it with your fingers, you, you really want to play on one like this which is a lot easier than. And I find that the left hand is easier to do one, two, three. And then two, three, four on the last one. Yeah, it's a lot easier. And again, you can try to play the left hand A in the bass. It's really hard to know what Dave actually does because you can't see his fingers in any of the videos when he's doing this. So the transcriptions can change from the person who's transcribing to another person. In this particular case, I'm not sure whether he actually does that and I don't hear that, but. And he does it fairly fast too, so that's quite difficult in the left hand to do this. It's very difficult to bounce like that, so just playing the notes, the top notes, is probably better. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that was informative. If you have any questions about this particular tune and you want to go into some more detail about this section, I personally have been playing this tune for a long time and I believe that this is one of the hardest jazz 
things to do. And that's why it's so cool when you end up doing it. Not many piano players can do it or play it or even attempt it. So I hope that helps. And if you end up playing this somewhere or recording it, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're making five videos a week, just like this one on various aspects of music and the music business. So I'd really appreciate it if you could come back and join me another time. Take care.